Boom shakalaka, Tether money printers go burr. Bitcoin hasn't done this in six years and meme coins are going to minimum 5X in the next month. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including money printers go burr. Bitcoin doing something it hasn't done in years, more than a whole cycle. And meme coins about to explode even higher. Before we get into things, like the video helps out so much. Join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Now, today, fear and greed at 84, up from yesterday's 81, but still an extreme greed for the past week. The overall market up 2% today, Bitcoin at 68,512, just below previous all-time highs. Ethereum 3942, BNB at 488, Solana 148, XRP 62 cents, Cardano 73 cents, Dogecoin at 17 cents, and Shiba four zeros and a three. Now, if we take a look, just yesterday, a billion USDT minted at Tether, money printers going burr. Generally, as Tether is printed, Bitcoin price goes up dramatically. And remember this because we're going to touch back on it a little later on in the episode. As we approach $69,000, there is a massive pain point right here. A bunch of shorts all set to get liquidated should we breach $69,000. Now, should that happen, they'll have to cover their position, buy back in on Bitcoin, and that'll send the price even higher when you consider that BlackRock and Fidelity and ARK and all these other people are buying up Bitcoin at a massive record clip. On average right now, over 2 million Bitcoin per year. That's how quickly they're buying it. And remember, there's only 21 million Bitcoin and there's less than 1.5 million on exchanges. So I don't know where the supply is going to come from, but I have a feeling it's going to drive price dramatically. Right now, there is no evidence that long-term hodlers are selling. We see here that the Red bands are one plus years ago, the orange bands is two plus, the green bands is three plus, and the blue is five plus. And right now, none of these are selling. As a matter of fact, some are even accumulating right now. Not anything like historic market tops telling us that, yes, we are still very, very early in the situation. It may go on a lot longer than anyone suspects. Now, if we take a look at the log Bollinger Band width on two-month candles, we can see that it has reversed direction. And historically, where this arrow is, this has marked the beginning of the parabolic run-up for Bitcoin. Now, as Bitcoin runs, so do altcoins. But this is telling us we are likely at the very beginning of things, not anywhere near the end. As a matter of fact, Willy Wu says, so you think we're in a bull market? It turns out we're not. This hasn't even been the warm-up. A full fundamentals-driven bull market is marked by a break in the upper blue band right here. We have not broken it yet, but when it breaks, TradeFi is in for a shock. So what we've seen just yet is a warm-up. Get ready. Things are about to go crazy. Also, right here on the two-month parabolic SAR, we can see that it has flipped bullish. And historically, when it flips bullish, is between five and six bars, which is 10 to 12 months until a cycle peak. So could we be in for a cycle peak in less than a year? Possible kind of have to keep our eye on that. Now, Bitcoin just did something that it has not done since 2017, 2018. And this is actually kind of monumental. Remember how much money they've been printing all over the place? Well, it turns out that Bitcoin versus money supply on the one month RSI is bullish for the first time in six years. That means that Bitcoin price is actually going up higher, faster than they are printing money for the moment. This hasn't happened in six years. This is an absolutely massive type of thing. Basically, anyone who's gotten in Bitcoin in the past six years has been getting in on a declining market for the first time since 2018. Things are looking up for Bitcoin. As a matter of fact, more of this money printing, we can see here global liquidity, thanks to China, some other countries, even the Goldman FCI, all of this, what is this Fed tightening? There's no such thing. We are in accelerating global liquidity as this money has to find places to go. Bitcoin is one of the best investments in history and now easier than ever to put money into. So the price should continue to go up for Bitcoin and altcoins. As a matter of fact, this time it may be different. We may be done with this logarithmic growth curve that everybody knows about now. Turns out it may turn to a sigmoid growth curve where the top, well, 
there may be no top because guess what? Supply is getting cut dramatically. 10,000 Bitcoin per day disappearing into the spot Bitcoin ETFs. And there's just not that much Bitcoin left. Now, if we take a look at the crypto total market cap, which is altcoins and Bitcoin, we have another signal here that hasn't happened since 2016. That's eight years. These signals that only happen once every long time, they're pretty massive signals. Right here, we have a crossing of the ADX and DI indicator only happened in 2016. Now pair that with the RSI being above 70, it means that things are getting ready to explode. Uh, crypto total market cap 100x back then. If we saw that same type of move right now, oh my goodness, it would be massive. And I know that this past week has been pretty crazy for meme coins, for AI coins, for all of that, the beginnings of alt season. But if we take a look at the evidence, there is still no evidence that alt season has started not even close to being over. As a matter of fact, right now, the alt season index shows that altcoins are moving the same level as in 2019, 2020, which was the best time to accumulate. So if you don't have your position set in altcoins, I know I've been saying this a lot this week, but I just don't want these opportunities to pass you guys by because you all want to get loaded as well as everybody else in the world. And now is the time to do it, not in six months or a year when they're making consecutive all-time highs month after month after month. So don't forget that this alt season is going to be huge, and now is the time to get ready for it. As a matter of fact, we may have tripped the switch, crossed the line in the sand at the 61.8 FIB level. Historically, when ETH crosses the 61.8 FIB between the top and the bottom, that has really been all up territory. It just recently crossed that 61.8 FIB level. Could be all up territory coming up very, very soon. As a matter of fact, based on historical signals, coins like Dogecoin, meme coins, some of them, Dogecoin particularly, is an oscillator. Every cycle goes up a whole other order of magnitude, which is by at least 10. And we can see here that based on history, it has broken out of its sideways trend, broken out of the downtrend, broken out of the sideways trend, Historically, based on where we are, we could be seeing Dogecoin hit a dollar or higher by mid-April. And if Dogecoin can do a 5 plus X from right here, you can only imagine what Pepe and Bonk and Shiba and Flocky and Salama and everything else is going to freaking do. It's going to go absolutely ballistic. So that's all for today's episode. If you enjoyed it, push the like button, come join us on Twitter, subscribe. Catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.